a certainty of subject matter is one of the requirement when creating an express trust. There are three certainties, which is certainty of intention, certainty of subject matter, and certainty of object. Today, we're going to focus on certainty of subject matter. Hmm, what is certainty of subject matter? Certainty of subject matter is the requirement that the trust property left to the, to the beneficiary must be easily identifiable along with the interest gained by the beneficiary. The trust is likely to fail if the property left on trust is unidentifiable or uncertain. For instance, if someone who owns several houses in Kuala Lumpur states that they wish to live on trust my house in Kuala Lumpur, there is difficulty in establishing which house they meant and this could cause the trust to fail. A trust is liable to fail where the property in question cannot be identified or separated from a larger quantity. The trust property must be described in such a way that it becomes certain and ascertainable. The justification for this is that a trustee can only perform his duty if he knows what property he is trustee of. Problems are experienced when we look at parts of the book of property. The nature of the property is decisive. If the property is tangible, then certain of subject matter will be satisfied where the trust property is separated out. However, where the property is intangible, such separation is such separation is not necessarily required. In London Wine Company Shippers Limited 1986, tangible assets for example, the question arose as to whether customers wants for with a supply stock could be available to the supply creditors following insolvency. The court held that because it was impossible to distinguish the customer's wine from the rest of the stock, no trust could arise. If the trust consists any doubt, it will fail. This can be seen in the case of Spranch against Bernard, 1798. 89, the court held that since the subject matter referred to only what shall remain at death, there will be an element of uncertainty in upholding the disposition as the valid trust. The husband is entitled absolutely. In the case of a real London Wine Co. Ltd. 1986, Oliver Judge reasoned that the confidence would have been shaky in any case because the sale of products had required that any goods be ascertained, there could be no reward for particular performance. According to the case of Arilas 1958, the court held that from the evidence and considering the words used, it created a trust for the brother and the two named individuals as a matter of construction. And taking into consideration all circumstantial evidence, a trust was upheld. In the case of Ashabir and others against Muhammad Ashim and others, 1887, the court held that the trust over land and money void as lack of certainty in the subject matter and in the ascertainable interest of dollar four hundred. The reason of the decision is it all was also impossible to say how much was for maintenance and how much for candori so the whole clause was void for uncertainty for the beneficial interest it can be referred to the case of boys against boys 1849 the court held that as the terms of trust indicated that charlotte could only take whatever maria left failure of maria to choose the subject matter become uncertain the trust fails on uncertainty of Charlotte's beneficial interest. In conclusion, a trust creates rights and duty at the moment of its creation and must therefore be certain at the moment of its creation. For a gift, however, it only needs to be certain at the moment legal title is transferred. The second of the three certainties is the certainty of the subject matter. Almost anything at all can be the subject matter of a trust just as long as the subject is recognized accurately. It must be certain what property is to be subject to the trust and what part or share of the property each beneficiary is entitled to. Since the trustee is to know what property he is meant to have in his control in the interest of the beneficiary. If the certainty of the subject matter is missing, then there are two possible outcomes that can happen. The first outcome is that the giver will go absolutely to the first dunny. 
The second outcome that can arise if the subject matter is missing is that the gift will fail and that it will revert back on a resulting trust to the settler's estate. That's all from me. Thank you.